So on Friday, April 12, 2024, it was the last day of the week, so to speak. Uh, the week that um, where I ended my long fast, where I re- refrained, refrained from food for many weeks. And um, during the latter part of that process, I was thinking about how I was going to uh, eat and, you know, what I was going to uh, consume. And so I decided that um, on Friday, I was going to eat a Japanese meal. And I had a particular restaurant in mind. So I'm out here in the midst of nature, getting ready for this and getting the energy from the four elements, the sun, the earth, the wind, and the moisture that contains water in the air. And so here I am enjoying all of this and preparing for what is to come. What I didn't expect was car issues and my battery started having issues around Wednesday of this same week. And at first I thought it was a fluke when it occurred on Wednesday because my car wouldn't start when I was in the Walmart parking lot. But then after about five minutes of waiting, it started back up and I just decided to write that off. And then it happened two or three times on Friday. I was out and about getting some items and it was like, yeah, this is getting to a point where this could be an issue that could not only uh, cause issues later down the line um, in the week to come, but also derail my plans on Friday to execute what I had planned um, earlier in the week And I just did not want anything to derail that plan because it's something that it was a commitment to myself. And so not only that, but my uncle and I were going out um, in a few days and uh, we're going to be driving in my car. And the last thing I want is for my uncle and I to be stranded somewhere because, um, you know, the battery um, needed to be replaced. And so. I decided to take uh, proactive action and address both uh, situations um, by replacing the battery myself. And in so doing, I would be able to accomplish my goal that I had for today and make sure that the following days were much more successful in terms of transportation and getting around. All right, so I made it. I'm here where I want to be, where I need to be. My plan was to get here and get ready for a Japanese style meal. So yes, um, this was part of my plan was to be here on this day, Friday, no matter what. And I had a few barriers. But here I am. So let's see how this meal looks when it comes out in just a moment. So this is the start of the meal. Um, This is meat. I got miso soup. I'm going to let that uh, sit for a minute. And I got a salad with a ginger dressing. This is the what's called the old ginger recipe. So it doesn't have any mayonnaise in it or animal product associated with it. So I'm going to do it first. Mm. 
getting ready to go to work. This, um, this is absolutely fresh. It's very crisp. I like the freshness and the cleanliness of this preparation. There's a certain artistry to it. And while I don't do this often, eating out, I do gain ins inspiration each time I do. These days I look for inspiration. I came during a time that was not very busy. However, this restaurant is always busy with to-go orders and the like. which means they're very efficient. In preparing a meal and serving it in a timely fashion. That was an awesome salad. It's quite a contrast to eat a nice, cool, crisp salad like that that's well, well dressed, well sauced. Look at the absolutely perfected form of that. I made my own miso soup for the first time, but this is the real deal. Honestly, I prefer my preparation to this, but this is good. This is good. I can learn some things from this. It's very simple and straightforward. And I'm absolutely enjoying it. The seaweed is the, is the best part, in my opinion, along with the, the soybean broth.
That's, that's one part I cannot replicate is how well done this seaweed is, is uh, done. The seaweed is done exceptionally well. This has given me quite a bit of nourishment at just the time after uh, that work with the vehicle. Absolutely terrific. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. This is vegetable roll. And um, I do use soy sauce. All right, thank you. a little soy sauce in here. This is full sodium soy sauce. I got the low sodium alternative. I'm like, if I'm going to use soy sauce, I'm going to go all the way with it. So, and this is my favorite way of, of sushi. I like sushi this way when it's like a larger, a larger ellipse or circle with more components in it. I prefer my sushi this way. Mm. That is the perfect combination of creamy and crunchy. Absolutely perfect. Side. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, no problem. All right, enjoy. Huh? Wasabi. I love wasabi. So I'm going to try to dress this with a little wasabi. And I'm going to eat some of this wasabi. Mm. Good kick. Let's take a break from that. I forgot what the yellow vegetable is, but I can tell you it is extremely good. But we have mushroom, carrot, avocado, seaweed, seaweed inside, seaweed on the outside. We got cucumber, we got a, asparagus, and um, the mystery yellow vegetable. Yes, I eat vegetable sushi rolls every now and again. It's one of the few times I will eat rice because of the type of rice, right? It's one of the few times I will actually eat rice. And um, 
when I do eat sushi rolls, I do like to, um, I, I prefer to have them this way because I do get sushi rolls in other places and they're the little smaller rolls with just maybe two or three ingredients. But this is the absolute best of the best of vegetable sushi rolls that I have access to. thing the camera is not on my uh, face because you'd see my eyes watering just a little bit and I love this right here this is a sushi salad that's what I call it And the thing about these vegetables is that for the most part, they're fermented. So they're good for the gut bacteria, by good gut bacteria. They're good for the gut bacteria. And the sushi rice is fermented in general or has those qualities in terms of like the vinegar that's used. And this is no exception. I'm going to take this. We're going to pour the remainder. Now, when one is eating these types of meals, you can take your time. But because of the uh, time of the, the day, I want to be respectful of the fact that they will close in about 45 minutes, so I don't want to belabor the time, but I'm still pacing myself at a reasonable rate to enjoy this. I did intend to get here two hours uh, earlier, but as we know, as Gandalf said in The Lord of the Rings, I was delayed, but I made it here regardless. probiotic nature of the uh, wasabi is quite extraordinary, but also the eye-watering uh, aspect when you consume a good dose of it, which is actually good for your, what they call the immune system. It definitely helps in that, er that arena, helps clear you out, but wasabi actually has legitimate health benefits. <laughs> I have them written down on some notes somewhere, so I don't recall them off the top of my head, but yes, there's definitely a health benefit to wasabi and pickled ginger. Now, I didn't find pickled ginger at Walmart to be all that, that wholesome and healthy. I don't know if this one's any different, but I trust that this is actual pickled ginger and doesn't have a lot of preservatives in it. tastes very good. I enjoyed that quite, quite extensively. That was wonderful.
So now the main attraction. This is the vegetable tempura dinner. And when I said that I'm gonna have a slightly, I'm gonna have a healthy meal with some unhealthy parameters, this is what I was referring to. This is my unhealthy parameter. But I'm gonna stay with the healthy side first before I conclude with the indulgent but carefully and well prepared tempura. This tempura sauce will feature quite extensively later on. Excuse me while I treat the remnant of the wasabi's impact on my nasal system. I'm good now. This pickled cucumber, again fermented, more uh, fermentation going uh, to the gut back, uh, bacteria. So far, I've had a very healthy, healthy uh, consumption of food. Let's not tip that over. I don't eat the fruit. Just due to food combining, I don't want to confuse my digestive system with fruit with this, this type of meal. So I refrain from the, uh, the fruit. It's important to chew this very well. When something tastes this good, that temptation is to swallow it in many respects. And the body will still digest it, but it will struggle more to digest it than if it's chewed very well. Think of it this way. Your bacteria in your gut, they're very, 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 very small. And when you chew it into little tiny pieces or as small as you can, you make their job much easier, which makes your life much easier in terms of how your body works, how your fluids uh, flow through your body and so on and so forth. This coleslaw typically comes with a white, uh, you know, coleslaw-like uh, dressing. I um, got mine without, without the dressing because I didn't want any um, animal-based um, product on my, on my stuff, so. But it tastes good, uh, dry. But it also tastes good when you do this. You dip it in the tempura sauce. Absolutely fabulous that way. And it does go well with soy sauce. It goes very well with soy sauce, but I like dipping it in the teriyaki sauce, the tempura sauce. That's not teriyaki, it's tempura sauce. Absolutely fabulous and healthy. So, Now did health. Now it's time for just a little pleasure. This part I do by hands. Now I do not know what this is. 
This is some amalgamation of vegetables that have been fried. One may ask, what's the difference between this and french fries? What's the difference between this and onion rings? There's actually a difference. French fries in the Western world and other fried things are done with batter and with oil in such a way where you have the development of crylamides and other deleterious compounds that are bad for the body. Tempura, on the other hand, is an ancient recipe that uses potato starch and uses a different frying method that is healthier than the frying methods in the West. That's why this is acceptable to me. But I don't do it often. Because it is still fried at the end of the day and it's not as vital as raw or partially steamed or cooked food, right? It's not as vital as the raw food. And eating it exclusively by itself would not be recommended, but I've had it in conjunction with a, a good dose of healthy ingredients, the vegetable rolls, the salad, the soup, and the uh, other vegetables. And so this is a good way to cap off the evening. And my digestive system is gonna go first in, first out, right? So it's gonna do the miso soup and the salad. Then it's gonna do those uh, vegetables, the vegetable rolls and then the vegetables. It's gonna process this last. I like to save this to the end. It dips so well. The only thing about this sauce is that there's not enough of it. And I always run out of it by the time I get to the end. But this sauce has been carefully crafted to work with this particular uh, potato starch batter. And um, it is it is such a great combination. Regular soy sauce does work with this. I'm gonna put these favorite pieces of mine right here at the end. And I'm gonna work on these one by one. This is a combination of carrots. I think these are carrots and then this is squash. What I just had was onions. And despite them being lightly fried, they still retain some aspect of their original um, health constituents in a lesser form, but still there. Man, that's good. Tempura carrots probably taste the best. got to be careful when you're eating this because you are you are sometimes tempted to rush through this because of how good it tastes exceptionally good
exceptionally good. Yes. The waitress uh, stepped up and uh, was giving me the thumbs up indication and I said yes. Because out of all the Japanese restaurants I have been to, and I've been to several, this restaurant here is the number one absolute best Japanese restaurant in the entire universe that I've ex I've experienced. And I haven't been to all Japanese restaurants around the world in every corners of the continent here or there. But in terms of my, my personal experience of what I've experienced, this is the best of the best that I've, I've had access to. The tragedy is that I've had more than 30 years to try this restaurant out and just ignored it for years, for decades. And only in the last 12 months have I tried it out and I was like, wow, that's what I was missing all that time. So. But I'm telling you this tempura carrot, absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And there's no sugar added. I can surmise that the natural sugars that's implicit in the carrot is um, released in the uh, the making of the tempura in the, in the in the actual frying of it. Wait a minute. Maybe this isn't a carrot. Is this sweet potato? look at it I think that's sweet potato yeah I was wrong this was a sweet potato so let's uh, let's uh, correct the tempura sweet potato is absolutely divine and that was the last one I'm gonna chew on that for a little bit just to savor it some more That was absolutely perfect. I also really like uh, tempura squash. I've seen uh, tempura squash at uh, Chinese buffets. However, this preparation in particular feels healthier. It's not overly greased. It's not overly fried. It is done just right. You can still taste the squash and its vital properties to an extent. The moisture of the squash, the natural moisture of the squash is retained while remaining crunchy on the outside. So exceptionally done. I would never make this myself. Because I don't uh, make fried, fried food like this. But when an expert makes it and can keep it at a healthy level, I have no complaints. So absolutely extraordinary. Mm-mm-mm. So my supply of tempura sauce is just about diminished. And I never asked them to treat me so well with the portions and the way they prepared this, but out of the goodness of their heart, they gave me the absolute best version of the vegetable tempura entree. That tastes just like squash. Perfect fusion of fried breading and real squash.
I'm gonna bite into this without dipping it and see. I think, is that carrot or is that more sweet potato? I can't tell. This actually tastes really good. Really, really good. It's about 13 minutes until they close, so I'm gonna wrap this up. As to the rice, I'm gonna take like a small little nibble of rice, but I'm not gonna eat no more than just a small handful because I'm not really into rice anymore. But I'm gonna take a small nibble just out of respect and not to waste so much of it. But this was a good way to celebrate the end of this process this week. And um, I'll have a part two involving me and my uncle when we go on our excursion with meals of a different type and variety in a few days. But as for this tonight, this was a great conclusion to a long and full and fruitful day. So thank you for joining me on this and I will catch you later.